Hello everyone, welcome to another Dose of Positivity. I'm so excited about this interview today. I'm at Ellen's Whole Body Food and I'm joined by the owner, Alan. And I'm so thrilled to be here today because we're going to be talking about energy work. So thank you so much, Ellen, for joining me because I've been trying to get you to do this interview for so long because you are one of the main people who really helped me with my health and when I first moved to Saskatoon I got a terrible diagnosis from my doctor on you, this is what you need to do to heal yourself and it was awful and I said no thanks and then I walked into the store and it was just like there were the answers there were the answers and I haven't been sick since that's which is fantastic. so amazing yeah. so now you you do have a full store full mm -hmm. natural health store mm -hmm. but today we're going to talk about energy work mm -hmm. um, and how energy work something like Reiki which you'll explain can help people manage their stress especially mm -hmm. women and become more balanced mm -hmm. so how does Reiki first of all can you explain a little bit about what Reiki is and energy work in general and how it can help people become less stressed, manage their stress. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, thank you, Laurie, and thank you for inviting me to oh, it's participate. My pleasure. Yeah. Um, first of all, you know, my store was built on a passion to help people and, yeah. and I did learn Reiki first and learn about the essential oils, which are also about energy. Yeah. And that was what I learned first, and I was working from my home, but I thought I needed, you know, to have um, um, a, a better place to work from. And so I thought, what better combination wow. than to blend it with a health food store. And so I called it Ellen's Whole Body Health because my belief is that we really need to look at the whole body so as true. opposed to just the physical body or just the mental emotional body. And that's where Reiki comes in, is going deeper into the body. And uh, my belief and, and many people's belief that do energy work is that you need to heal the deeper level first, the soul, the spirit yeah. first, and the rest will follow. So yeah. many um, physical health issues have an underlying emotional or spiritual um, disconnect or issue that needs to be released and yeah. that's what Reiki does. Um, in my understanding and my belief, Reiki is energy that comes from God yeah. through us because we've agreed to be the channel and yeah. it's transferred to that person receiving it because many of us don't connect with God on that, in that aspect or on that level. Yes. And so Reiki, we are just you know, a conduit to bring that energy forth for that person to receive oh. yeah and it's so amazing I, I have been treated mm -hmm. uh, by you with Reiki and it really was that was one of the first steps that I needed to go through mm -hmm. to heal myself mm -hmm. I thought it was just <coughs> my illness that was causing all of my stress mm -hmm. but it wasn't there was emotional stress that mm -hmm. was still there uh, from relocating from Ontario to Saskatoon forming a new job, all of this mm -hmm. stuff that even though it was exciting, it was causing a lot of emotional stress in my body. Mm -hmm. And the Reiki just, it was just gone. It yeah. was just gone. Yeah. So how does that, how does that actually work? How does that remove the emotionally charged stress from someone's body? We are all actually energy beings. So even though you see the physical part of us. The deeper part is really just energy. And, and not just, I mean, that is the foundation. Yeah. And so when you bring in energy that balances, it releases the energy that you've stored that is of the negative emotions. Okay. So, you know, s people's trauma can go back to childhood. Wow. It can go back to uh, an accident or an experience that has been carried with them, right? Yeah. Sitting with them. And so what you do is you, those memories of that experience or that belief that may have been passed on to you from other people around you, maybe parents or, or something, you may be carrying a strong belief about something yeah. or, or an issue or a, you know, a tragedy, that is held in our cells. And as yeah. an example, anger is held in the liver. Um, so what the Reiki does is comes through 
and helps to release those old beliefs or negative thought forms or experiences that you're still holding on to. Wow. And, it, and it allows you just to open up and to be free and to move forward in your life. So even if you have a physical health issue, the Reiki can help you with determining what might be best for your physical health. Yeah. Whether it's exercise or a supplement or more sunshine or whatever. So, you know, it works in many different ways where it's going to release those old stressors and yeah. those old negative thought forms and beliefs or experiences, but it will also free you to um, be more aware of what might be beneficial for you. And I love that because we've been talking a lot in this feature about it's so important to have clarity. Mm -hmm. You know, in order to move forward, you have to mm -hmm. first know what, what do I need to mm -hmm. move forward? What do I need to release? What mm -hmm. do I need to bring in? And it sounds like Reiki gives you that clarity. It yes. gets rid of everything else so that it, you're making space mm -hmm. for That's the real right. answers to come in. That's for what true. you really need, right? Yes, yes. Um, and Reiki as well, in my experience, I've taken three levels of Reiki. There yeah. are four, um, wow. but I've taken three. And so um, Reiki helps to clear the clutter so that you figure out what your life purpose is. Why are we here on earth? What did wow. I come here to do? And so it actually helps to move you forward in your life and what you're doing. So it can help you sort yeah. career that would be best suited for you. You know, it helps with the things that you don't see as well, like confidence, yes. decision making, you know, um, career choices, school, whatever it is that you are making decisions about. It helps you with all of that. So the benefits are endless mm -hmm. because, Absolutely. you know, we're talking about how to manage stress, but there's so right. many other benefits to it mm -hmm. as well, like just opening yourself up, which yes. is so important because I talk a lot about, in my business, about whole body health as well. Mm -hmm. You can't have a healthy mind if you have an unhealthy body and vice versa. Yes. And with Reiki, that is so amazing. What a great practice. If someone's like, you know what, I want a career change. Well, mm -hmm. start with Reiki first. Mm -hmm. And it's so great. Clear everything else. Mm -hmm. Clear all those limiting beliefs that you have, maybe from your current career, yes. to open yourself up for a new career. Absolutely. Which is so amazing. Mm -hmm. And just people just don't know that, right? No, that's people right. People think of it as <laughs> just healing mm -hmm. from like a tragedy or mm -hmm. a trauma or an illness. Yes. But it doesn't need to be. It sounds like it's actually probably pretty beneficial to use it when your life is awesome as well. <laughs> Absolutely, because yeah. it keeps you on path, on, the, on exactly. the right track, yes. I receive a Reiki treatment once a month myself from the woman who taught me Reiki. Wow. Because I just want to keep feeling good and yeah. keep moving through things that, you know, could potentially cause stress within my life or within my body. And it's all yes. how we deal with the things that are around us. Yeah. Stressors like bacteria and viruses are around us all the time. We can't get rid of them. But it's how do we deal with them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yes. I'm sure you get that question all the time. How do I eliminate stress? Mm -hmm. You you just want to hug them because you, you know they're they're looking for answers, but mm -hmm. you're like, you can't get rid of stress. And you feel them for a second deep mm -hmm. late, but then you're like, don't worry, I have an answer. <laughs> but it can help you. Reiki can help you make better choices yes. to eliminate. So if it's a career change that you need, it helps give you the confidence and it helps steer you to find that best career choice for yeah. you. Or maybe it's relationships. Maybe exactly. you need to you know, change some of the people that are in your life, you know? Yeah. Because we hang on to people because we feel like maybe we need to help them. Yes. But sometimes the best thing is just to release them and allow them to have their own experience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And not feel like so responsible for everybody. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So how has Reiki helped you? Because you said you do this quite mm -hmm. often I do. from your trainer. How has it I helped do. you in your life? It has steered me to my life purpose. Yeah. Um, I took level three Reiki in the spring um, of the year that I opened the store. And so it really helped me to uh, steer toward what my career should be yeah. at the time, what yes. my life purpose is, and that keeps evolving because you know, when you visualize what you think something might look like, like my store, yeah. I could never have visualized how great it's become and so true. how, you know, diverse it's become. Yeah. And so it really helped to steer me that way. And, you know, things that I had never dealt with in my life, like um, dealing with a lease and yeah. signing a lease and, 
you know, taking on a space and working with contractors and yeah. finding the product. I mean, everything to do with opening the store really kind of fell into place because what Reiki helps you to do is open up more to your guidance. Um, yeah. To those angels and guides and God and whoever you you believe whatever in, whatever you believe in, that's right. Exactly. That they're there for you, and it helps you learn how to communicate with them. Yeah. Uh, so that you know um, how to ask for help or how to just step out of the way and let them open the doors for you. Exactly. And so the things that I thought were going to be very difficult in opening the store, actually, it was like doors just opening. You know, it became much simpler and wow. much less effort. And life can be that way if we allow it to. Yeah. So it's allowed me to step into something that is truly a passion for me. And, you know, I never go to bed at night dreading coming to work in the morning because it's what I love. I love. It. Exactly. And so that's really for all of us is to find what drives us, what our passion is, and yeah. to fulfill that passion. So that's what Reiki has done for me. and and really taught me how to disconnect um, from my children. And that you know sounds really odd, but as I go back to what I said about relationships with people, we can be connected to people in an unhealthy way. And our yes. children are, are an example. Um, mine are grown, my youngest is 18, um, but we want to control their lives. And yes. we want to, we think we know what's best for them. And Reiki taught me to disconnect in a loving way, still be there yes. and be supportive, but not try to tell them what's right for them or what's wrong for them, just to simply guide them and be there. And you know, different amount of guidance at different ages. Of course. But by the time they're 18 or 16, they need to be making their own healthy decisions for themselves. Yes. So it really steered me that way without feeling like I was going to harm them. Exactly. But to help them, and it really, I've got three very strong children. And that is amazing. Yeah. So it really is, like Reiki really is whole body health. It, it really is. It's yes. just, which I love, because mm -hmm. there's all of these different areas in our life, mm -hmm. and in order to be balanced, yes. we have to focus on all of them. Yes. And Reiki can do that, yes. but for what you need at that moment. That's right? right. That's right. And usually what happens is we know what we need in that moment, mm -hmm. whether it's a new career or it's an illness or something, but so often people won't come mm -hmm. or won't have a Reiki treatment, even though it's it's everywhere now, people are hearing mm -hmm. about this, it's because it works. Because they don't know what to expect, mm -hmm. they don't make the phone call, they don't mm -hmm. take the first step. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a little bit about what can someone expect? So if, if someone were to come to me and say, I want a new career, and I say, okay, first go and get a Reiki treatment, what can they expect working with you? Um, they will get one hour with yep. no interruptions, uh, which for a lot of people, and especially women, we don't allow ourselves those uh, treats in our life. Yes. We think we have to keep going and we keep going and we never take a break for ourselves. So yep. one hour of uninterrupted time. Which that alone is amazing. That yeah. alone is amazing, for sure. Yeah. Um, the room that I work in is very peaceful and very um, calming. It is. We're in it now, mm -hmm. and it is. Mm -hmm. And so they get to lay down and yep. just relax, and they don't have to do anything but just relax. Wow. And, you know, we have soft music and candles, and Reiki is just gentle hands on. Like I said, the energy comes through me yep. and, and through my hands, and I just have my hands on them in different places you know, over their heart to help release things because we hang on to so much in our heart. Yes. Um, over the head, the face, because our heads are so busy. Yeah. And, and I just gently have my hands on different parts of their body working down to their feet because we release our negative energy out our hands and out our feet. Okay. So we work down the body and to the feet. And then partway through, I'll get them to roll over and onto their stomach and I'll do the same thing on their back and their knees and feet again. And it's just gently allowing them to release that yeah. energy from the parts of the body that they've stored it in. And most people, when I'm finished, are very, very peaceful. I and that. yeah, and Reiki will stay in your body for about three or four days, and it's a good detox. It's a good, not only emotional, spiritual cleanse, but physical cleanse. Okay. So, wow. yeah, you drink lots of water with it, and yeah. um, and just listen to your body. If you feel you need to sleep, go and rest. Um, yeah. It might give you energy if that's what you need. 
and so you might feel like going and doing some cleaning or whatever it is that you need to get done so yes. you just listen to your body and that's one of the things that we don't do really well is listen to our body but Reiki will help you to listen to your body and to mm -hmm. be in tune with it because mm -hmm. for that hour mm -hmm. they really are focusing on their body because you can feel it like I yes. just remember because um, I live in my head mm -hmm. so often and I remember when your hands were there I could actually feel it in my head mm -hmm. and come out like it was such a, a, a crazy sensation mm -hmm. and but you have to be aware of it and just let it happen right yes. yes so some people might feel warmth from my hands some people may feel just a flow of energy through them yeah um, everybody's experience is different because we're all unique and so it is whatever yes. they are able to experience and uh, some people sleep which is great because oh my god when you sleep you heal you yeah. know very well and you're right, a lot of people feel a lot of activity in their head. That's bringing up thoughts and memories and stuff just to release them. And you can have emotions that come up over the next few days after you've had Reiki. You just acknowledge them and let them go because those are old, stuck feelings and emotions that you haven't let go of that are coming up. So if you feel anger, you just realize I'm letting it go and you just acknowledge it and let it go. Is there something someone can do at home? Because I know mm -hmm. what typically happens is we book an appointment, mm -hmm. we have this relaxing hour, and then we go out in, and do crazy things again mm -hmm. and forget that we just had this amazing session. Mm -hmm. Is Do you recommend someone like really taking the time after, like mm -hmm. not just setting aside an hour, but even maybe an hour after that? Yes, um, the quieter you can sit with that Reiki and allow it to work through your body, the more beneficial, Yeah, for sure. And I mean, any time that we can take a quiet time for ourselves. Um, there's things that I personally like to do before bed, yeah. um, you know, meditations that help you to release. If you don't release the day w before you sleep, you tend to process it all night. You do. And you don't generally sleep very well and you yeah. wake up sometimes feeling tired. And so the more we can release at the end of the day, the better. So you could use a meditation CD to help you release. Yeah. There are some that are chakra balancing and that's, there's a morning one and an evening one. Um, and we have that here and it's with a book as well. Wow. Um, you could use essential oils. There's a release oil that I put on at the end of the day and that helps you to release as well. Yeah. Um, you know, any practice like that just to get rid of the stuff from the day. So people do need to prepare after Reiki. They need to expect that things will come up. Yes. Because that's just natural. It's almost yes. like detoxing. Yes. It's like having those die-off symptoms yes. almost, right? Yes, right. So they need, so one thing that they do need to expect is that that is natural and find a way that works for them. If it's a meditation, journaling, yes. or just saying in their mind, you know what, I'm releasing this. That's right. Yeah. For I mean, I write it. I. I'm sure. angry, I release this. That's right, exactly. Yeah. A warm bath, Epsom salt bath, you know, anything yeah. like that. Whatever suits them, but it's about self-care. And it's yes. about really what I believe is when you look after yourself, everybody around you is in a better place because yeah. we can only really look after ourselves and make change for ourselves, right? We it's true. We're not able to change how the other person is emotionally handling things. But our energy can help them mm -hmm. change, right? Yes. Because if we're feeling all flustered, yes. I will feel that in people. Yes. And I never really understood that until mm -hmm. I talk to you quite often. I come mm -hmm. in here all the time and it's like a wealth of knowledge always. And you were one of the ones, you told me that. It's like you take on other people's energy. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's happening, mm -hmm. but you know if they're faking it. You know if they're really in a bad mood because you're picking up on mm -hmm. that negative energy. You don't know what it is, mm -hmm. that it, but you just, you can feel it yes. in your own body. Mm -hmm. And that is just because we're always giving off that energy, mm -hmm. whether it's positive or negative, mm -hmm. right? And our energy fields overlap. When we're sitting this close, our energy fields are interconnected. So we definitely can pick up you know how somebody says you're in my space yes that's very true because we have energy fields and different people have maybe larger or smaller energy fields yeah and so by being close to somebody or being within that a range um, you would pick up what they're feeling and sometimes wow. consciously or subconsciously you may not yes. know it you may get a headache you may feel miserable and not really know why you're feeling miserable yeah but you've likely picked up something from somebody else so Wow. Reiki will help you to release that as well. And I mean, people can learn Reiki. It's very simple. 
Um, I don't teach it, but have yes. a wonderful person who does. Um, great tool for day-to-day -day health yes. management on all levels. Yeah. And um, yeah, and it really, like I said, it steers you in the direction of your life purpose. Exactly, yeah. which is so key because we're all, I get that question all the time. I don't know what it is mm -hmm. I want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my purpose is, but I know there's something else that mm -hmm. I want. Yes. So, so it helps you with clarity. clarity. Yes. Which is so key, and that's what we've been talking about this mm -hmm. whole series, is managing stress, not getting rid of stress, managing stress, and that mm -hmm. there's all these amazing tools out there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that keeps coming up, which you brought up again, every single woman has said the same thing. Women don't take the time for mm -hmm. themselves. Yes. And, and it's not that this won't benefit men, but we're talking specifically right. to women because they don't. They, we really don't. We're caregivers first. That's right. And it's usually not to ourselves. That's right. And we take care of everyone else, and then our energy is just depleted. Yes. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And, and, but if we're bringing all that stuff back to us, well, we can care even better for those people That's that right. we want to care for. We care, and we don't take on their stuff, so we stay yes. very peaceful with what we need to do for them. It's like with my three grown kids. You know, they've got issues that they're dealing with. I can listen, I can help them, I can guide them, give them suggestions, but they ultimately yeah. have to make the decision. And I don't take on their concerns. I yes. allow them to work through their own stuff. Because it doesn't do us any good to take on other people's stuff. Exactly. That's when we get burdened. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. One thing that I've asked every single woman, and I'll ask you today, because mm -hmm. I have a feeling you will already know the answer. If there was one desire, one wish that you had for women, what would it be? Hmm. that they know their personal worth yeah. and that they allow the goodness within them which we call your good power to come out and power a lot of people think of it in a negative context but that's only if you're abusive yeah but our power is using our knowing um, our gentleness our kindness our just who we truly are yeah. at our deepest level for that to really come out and shine yeah. I love that. Because women have been oppressed and suppressed for thousands of years, and we still don't feel confident yeah. with bringing out who we really are. It's so true. Yeah. And I originally, in my past career, I come from, a, it was a male dominant company. Mm -hmm. And for 10 years, probably eight years, I tried to be like one of the men. Mm -hmm. And I'm a very feminine woman. Mm -hmm. And one day I just woke up, I'm like, enough. Like, this is mm -hmm. not serving me. Mm -hmm. I'm a woman. I should be proud mm -hmm. of being a woman. And the moment I made that shift, not only did my myself change and my confidence change, but the people around me changed. The people around me were more relaxed around me. The men were. It was almost as though they knew that wasn't my natural state. And so I love that that's your desire for women because... We tend to always want to be someone else yes and not step into our own power yes that's exactly right and yeah. you just confirmed what i had said earlier about when we change who we are everybody around us changes yeah. a and not in a bad way when we're yes. really comfortable with who we are and really happy with who we are everybody around us follows suit and, exactly. is, and is more relaxed and comfortable because they feel better mm -hmm. they don't need to know why they feel oh, better yes. they just naturally feel better and it's the energy work that we're talking about so that's right thank you so much You're this welcome. was amazing and thank you for what you've given me because i came in here with that the heavy mind the heavy heart the illness in my body and for the past three years that i've lived here and i come in here twice a week even just walking into the store i mm -hmm. feel better and I, I know that this whole place is infused with positive mm -hmm. energy. So you could just stick your head in mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, I got it. <laughs> and that's very true. That's A lot of people come in just to breathe deep yeah. and just to be in the store because yeah. they leave behind what they don't need. It's like Reiki is flowing all the time in the store. And so yeah. people get rid of their stuff what they don't need and they walk out feeling better and that's very true and that's not intentional I didn't create that but unintentionally created exactly because mm -hmm. you have such a belief and this truly mm -hmm. is your purpose mm -hmm. and whether it's Reiki or coming in for nutritional advice mm -hmm. or supplement advice or um, natural health care products no matter what it is you just you have that knowledge 
and you have that energy about you, you just know where to guide people, which is so amazing. And people open up to you mm -hmm. because they feel that. Mm -hmm. They just feel like this woman cares. And I do use Reiki in that sense that I allow my intuition or my knowing to help me with that person's situation or questions. Yeah. I listen and I ask questions and I listen and then I go to where I'm guided for yeah. a product or a suggestion for them. It's amazing. Yeah. And it works because yeah. I'm proof of it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it definitely works. So I truly believe if anybody wants any a dose of positivity, Ellen's Whole Body Food is the place to come. And Reiki is like, that's gonna be my number one tool I give to people. You want clarity? Mm -hmm do this first. Mm -hmm. You want to set your goals, do this first. So Definitely. you've opened up my mind to it. Mm -hmm. I, like, I've learned so much today that I didn't know about Reiki. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was just about healing the body. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. You're welcome. And you. I look forward to everything that you have coming up because I know there's thank lots you. coming up. So yes. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lori.